everyone is talking about end-to-end, -end, right? So uh, is end-to-end -end really enough? Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Imagine a car that's not just driving and reacting to the road, but it's actually thinking about it. So it's anticipating turns, it's imagining dangers, and it's choosing the safest path to drive. So today's video will be about a new world model, that's in short NWM, and what it means for autonomy and the AI revolution and why this could be sort of a deep seek moment for NEO. I mentioned that in the past, but now I would like to explain a little bit further. So I'm making this video at a time where most people think that the competition is ahead of NEO when it comes to um, self-driving, like Tesla recently launched um, FSD in China, more on that in another video. Xiaopeng rolling out quickly, then we've got Xiaomi, Huawei, you name them. You know, everybody is now jumping on the end-to-end -end bandwagon and seemingly Neo is lagging behind. So that's the mass opinion out there. But in this video, I would like to highlight why I think Neo may actually be leapfrogging them. And that's the plan here. And I will explaining, uh, you know, what this approach and strategy by Neo is actually about and how this could potentially leverage NEO's, um, you know, the proposition that they have with a self-developed and self-manufactured chip and also with um, their more potent compute power in their um, adder suite going into current cars, but definitely also going into future cars. But first off, welcome everybody who's you know new to the channel. I would love if you would subscribe and hit a like and you know share it with friends so that more people can see this video actually. And now let's go back to a tech presentation that has been given by uh, Rin Chao Singh, the head of autonomous driving at NIO a while ago, actually in 2024. The presentation was really, really complicated, complex, uh, very long as well and only in Chinese. So I guess most investors have missed out on the gist of it, but I'll try it to explain it in very, very simple words. Our brain actually has two very core abilities. The first ability is what we call spatial perception and comprehension ability also known as our imagination reconstructive ability. Just like I mentioned earlier, when we imagine a tree, you don't actually see it, but it appears before your eyes. This is the first ability. The second ability is uh, what we call time comprehension, or the ability to imagine and deduce. Uh, when we ask you to imagine a tree changing from summer to autumn and from autumn to winter, in your mind, the change in time, right? Uh, of course, we have six months, but it might be completed in two seconds. The change in time is completely reconstructed in your mind. These two abilities together form what we call the cognitive ability of time and space. Our cognitive ability regarding the changes and possibilities in the three-dimensional space and one-dimensional time of our lives is very important for us living on this planet. It's equally important for AI, whether driving a car or being a robot. This ability is essentially about building an abstract world in his mind that conforms to corresponding rules, uh, especially physical laws. And it's also called a world model. However, going back to our earlier question, is end-to-end -end enough? We believe it is not sufficient because an end-to-end -end model does not necessarily possess the two core abilities we mentioned earlier. We hope to construct a model that, uh, like the human brain, has such an internal model with the ability to imagine space and deduce uh, over time. In fact, last year we already mentioned in NeuroIPS that we have such a temporal model, uh, a module stack, but last year it wasn't very mature. We hope this model can learn human-like spatial cognition for vector reconstruction, as well as temporal cognition for vector inference. So what's the Neo World model or NWM? It's an AI system that empowers their autonomous driving tech. Unlike traditional models that just map sensor data to actions, the Neo World model builds an internal world model. Think of it as a digital brain. It reconstructs the environment in 3D and predicts what happens next. Like imagining a kid running into the street or a sudden rainstorm. Using the miles and kilometers collected of driving data and self-supervised learning, Neo World Model generates 216 possible driving paths every 0.1 second, picking the safest one. It even creates two-minute simulation videos showing parallel worlds with traffic jams or snowy roads. 
This is leveraging NEO's Atom supercomputer and in the future also NEO's self-developed chip, um, making it a powerhouse potentially. Remember, NEO's current AD hardware is in most cases 5 to 10x more powerful than competitors and the self-developed chip that will come out soon even claims to be as powerful as four orange chips combined in one chip. So the goal here is to create ultimate safety and adaptability and it's like giving a car a sixth sense. That's really how ambitious NEO is about it here. They want to make the car reasoning, not just recreating. And this way NEO would by far cover much more real world cases and scenarios than in, for example, the normal industry tests that usually are tested in, for example, NCAP and so on. So why is this a potential DeepSeek moment for NEO? Well, let's talk about DeepSeek. It was a breakthrough in AI moving from pattern recognition to reasoning. So imagine a student who stops memorizing answers and starts solving problems by understanding principles. That's what DeepSeek did, setting a new standard that's forced the industry to evolve. With the NEO world model, NEO is planning to create an autonomous driving DeepSeek moment. Traditional end-to-end -end models like Tesla's full self-driving rack based on learned patterns, but they struggle with rare scenarios, like a shadow mistaken for an obstacle, which creates phantom braking. Neo world model, however, thinks like a human. It imagines what if scenarios, for example, what if I swerve now or what if it rains, mimicking our spatial and temporal cognition. And just as DeepSeek push AI into the realm of inference and reasoning, NEO's world model lets car reconstruct worlds and deduce outcomes generating synthetic data to handle edge cases. So this would be a paradigm shift turning cars into reasoning agents not just pattern following machines. This would be as transformative as DeepSeek was for language models and therefore redefining safety and innovation this year when NEO launches its self-developed chips and the NEO world model. So this would certainly bring NEO's approach into the first place, basically leapfrogging all of the others, for example, Tesla relying on end to end with the hardware four chips, um, which is fast, but it's prone to errors in edge cases. Then there's Xpeng, which also uses LiDAR, for example, and sensor fusion, um, but uh, you know, it doesn't have this generative depth that NEO is planning with the world model here. And Liauto, it's leveraging NVIDIA tech, but it's less innovative than the NEO approach. So with this strategy, NEO is certainly more ambitious than what's currently happening with the competitors. But that's also one of the reasons why NEO is currently maybe not showing all of what they're working on. Um, but in case that it's coming out and it can show that a car has reasoning and imagination, that sort of thing on top of the end to end processing that the others are having, then they're in front of the competition and that could just unfold already in the next couple of months when NEO is bringing out not only the chip but also launches the world model. What do you think? Has NEO a chance to get back into the game and leapfrog their competitors on this metric? Thanks for watching. Please smash a like and see you in my next videos.